Hello, I'm Eric Worthington, online marketing consultant for Good News Media Solutions. My business partner, Karen Chalky, and I are experts in helping businesses just like yours get more customers and sales using digital marketing. In this series, I provide professional valuations of local businesses that you recommend, and then I review the effectiveness of that business's overall online brand. Okay, and today we're going to be looking at a tow truck company, Affordable Towing, out of Portland, Oregon. We're going to look at their web page, their search results, their Google My Business, their Facebook page, their Facebook ad library, and then we'll wrap up with some suggestions on how they can get more business. All right, let's jump right in and look at their website. First of all, noticing that the URL, the domain is AA Towing or Towing Oregon. So affordable towing Oregon.com. It's um it's chosen probably because it's short and sweet, but nowadays you don't really have to be short and sweet. It, I'd rather see a domain with uh, more, your services um, spelled out, affordable, towing, Portland, come up with something like that. We can still keep the short one for other activities like email and if you have a calendar or things like that. But um, uh, specifically for search engine optimization, I, I, I want to see a longer one. We can drive traffic to that. All right, you got your name up front. I like the, uh, it's just a font styled um, styling for a logo. Works for me though. Affordable is a top word. That's what you're looking for. Uh, we got call today. Ooh, none of this is clickable. Got to, I can copy and paste this, but I can't click it. That's, that's not good. And then, so there's no action item on top. That's what I'm getting at there. Especially for a tow truck, tow truck company. I want an action item. We specialize towing service, car towing, truck towing, tow company, roadside assistant, lockout, flat tire, tow service, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of the keywords associated with tow truck companies. That's good. Right up there on the main page. Got some writing. Blah, blah. Give us a call today. Again, now we have a second number. Don't know why we've introduced that. Um, and it is also not clickable. So that's uh, that's no good. I see no reference to Facebook or anything on this page. And up here in this lower left-hand corner, that little globe-like thing, that is a favicon. You do not have a personalized favicon. Easy to make. Um, your title is Towing in Portland, Affordable Auto Towing. Now, that's that's actually a pretty good uh, title because you've got keyword towing, keyword Portland, and, and a keyword affordable auto towing, which is your name. So that's not too bad. You can make them a little bit longer nowadays, a sentence, something more of a story, a description. And But we'll get into what your description is in a minute. Um, all right, I'm going to make some notes. Just real quick, looking up the title inside the HTML of the page. There it is, Towing in Portland, Affordable Auto Towing. Let's uh, jump over to their description. The description, which um, shows up only to Google when it's crawling over uh, the web page at night with its little spiders. Affordable auto towing offers towing in Portland and the Portland metro area with competitive, affordable pricing, speedy service, and friendly smile. It's good. Um, I want to see more. I know that obviously your big keyword is towing, but combining things, towing services, emergency towing services, things like that combining phrases that's what google's looking for but it'll push this up in on, on google search results for people and it's not too bad and i see it's repeated down here uh under the property description and other places as well i look for a facebook pixel i'll tell you about that later i did not see one i'm looking for google analytics i do see a ua number right here so that's uh that's a good sign hopefully you've run some google ads in the past and we can see what you've done how you built them or how they were built for you and what the success rate is and i can help you out with reasons why it could have been better so what i'm looking for here is alt e those are alternative words used to describe the pictures on your page it was originally designed for the um for the for the, for the blind um, browsers can read to the blind what the alternative text is on an image on your web page you don't have any text there's a very big missed opportunity so here it is again empty quotes empty quotes empty quotes you don't have any text that's a big missed opportunity because um, the the Google spiders that crawl across your web page are looking inside the alternative text all the time. And it's a really good idea to load those with the keywords that people are searching on in your area. So I'm talking about the names of the actual areas. Portland metropolitan area is good, but what are the names of the little towns and smaller suburbs that you serve? What are their zip codes? Um, what an, other phraseologies for your service, like I was saying before, emergency service, 24-7 service, 
truck service, auto um, towing, you know, different ways to combine the different words. Just a quick refresher on the page. AA towing or, it makes absolutely no sense as a domain other than you tried to get something really short. Nowadays, go for something longer. Um, I can help you out with that so we can drive traffic to that but not lose this original one that makes for great, nice, short email addresses and such. Logo placement is center. It's just fancy fonts, but I like it. It uh, uh, uses the word um, affordable. General notes, no clickable call to action buttons, especially for a tow truck company. You must have call to action buttons right at the top, easily clickable, that go right to my cell phone and allow me to call. Or if I'm on my cell phone, it'll click it and it will call you. Favicon, no, that's just kind of a fancy thing for um, for tow truck companies, but they're still fun, easy to do, and uh, um, could put one up there for you. Uh, cell phone. The cell phone looked okay, but no call to action is really bad for a cell phone because that's who's calling you. Facebook Pixel, no Pixel. Google Analytics, yes, you do. Um, uh, hover keywords, I wrote those and I wrote out the description. And we'll touch on all this again in the wrap up. All right, let's see where you show up in the search results. I'm going to see, first of all, if you have a, if at the top there's a Google ad with you guys, I'm going to use a clean browser and uh, another gimmick I have that. Uh, places my search engine in your service area. We'll look under um, some map results, Google, Google map results and search results, and we'll throw up a couple of competitors too. So this is a search for need my car towed. I mean, I'm imagining myself, I've got a flat tire, I'm on the side of the road, I get out my cell phone, I search need my car towed. And you guys are not on page one. You are not on page two. You are not on page three and you are not on page four results. And that's how far out I searched. So <laughs> you're not all the way up to page. No, maybe I did search page five. Oh yeah, need my car towed page five. And I looked for affordable and you guys are not. I mean, affordable shows up from other people, but not 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 your name. You just don't show up at all there. So uh, um, that's not good. So I did a map search as well, and you guys don't show up. AJ's, Hookup Towing, Chappelle's, Pablo's, Jeff, Rose City, Retriever, A and B, blah, 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 blah. North Side, A, da, 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 all the way down. Then we got several pages of it, but I'm just going to look at the page one. And that's a lot of results for page one. Normally, you only get three. And you guys aren't showing up in the first 20 or so. So, and you can see down here that I've cheated the system to think I'm in Portland, Oregon. And um, so I'm just going to grab a couple of these competitors and we'll get back. So quick on the search results, there was no Google ad. Um, you didn't show up in the first 20 listings in the map and you didn't show up in the first 20, 20 well, actually there was five pages in the Google search results, I'll correct that. Some of your competitors, AB Towing, 24 uh, hour, 24H Towing Portland, you know, um, they just showed up ahead of you. One of them, I think it was 24H Towing Portland, didn't have any reviews or anything. All right, so I did the map results come trying to find your google my business page and i literally searched on your name affordable towing auto and um and there of course you show up because i'm literally searching on your name i don't know how many people use the word affordable um when they're searching for car or cheap or you know, inexpensive i don't know what they would search on but if they search on the word affordable they they and the uh, and towing they they indeed would get you in the map results so affordable auto towing llc if i click on that it's going to open up what's called your google my business page now i see somebody's been here and done some editing because there's your little logo it's kind of tiny for that little um, icon there um but that the fact that it's there means somebody's done some editing here you have 31 google reviews of the 4.9 you should be showing up higher on the maps than you are um for normal towing searches not using the word affordable um, I love some of the pictures you've got. I know from looking at the pictures previously that these, some of these are branded. I do like to see a logo um, in the in the pictures, although state of Oregon and the United States flag is awesome. Uh, you got a lot of good reviews. That's great. Um, and it looks like you've responded to some reviews, which is really good. So um, uh, um, somebody's really on top of that. And I think that's great. And th down below, it's got some uh, some other references as well. So um, all in all, let me grab a few notes. So on the Google My Business, you did not have a logo, but you did have the small icon. And sometimes that could be misunderstood to be like they're going to put a big picture of your logo, which they don't. You got to put that in a picture. Photos, yeah, you had some good personalized work pics and the, some of the trucks are branded. I like that. Reviews, beautiful on reviews, beautiful on replies. Name, address, phone. I think this is partly where you're failing is you only have a phone number. And I get it. You're a service. You're... Um, 
you don't people don't come to your home or where you park the trucks at night so uh, i get that but this is google my business this is this is Google Maps. This is what people click on. When they search, Google Maps is pushed to the top of the results. And some of these people, as you can see, doesn't even have their address. It just says, AJ Toe is in Portland, Oregon. You don't say anything. And uh, um, different, there's Camas, Washington, and things like that. So if I just go back to um, towing, well, that, that'll take a second. Let me redo that, though. All right, so I went back to, to make my point here. that I just searched on the word tow truck. And I'm treated to make it think I'm in Portland, Oregon. And uh, everybody, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Gresham, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Everybody that shows up in the top, what am I in, down to about a 10 or a dozen? Portland, 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 um, Portland, Portland, Portland. They say Portland. They, it's the service area. It's not that difficult to add. You don't necessarily, let's just pick one for an example. You don't necessarily have to add your entire physical address. Now they do, 3455C, and it's probably, well, that looks like a service building, but a lot of these people, it's just gonna be their house where they park their truck. But the point is that Google My Business is gonna push you to the top if it recognizes a physical address. All right, Facebook page. I did jump over and open up your Facebook page for a towing, cup, towing truck company. It, it's probably not as important. Um, uh, however, to be community minded and, and um, drive traffic between the website and Facebook nowadays, it's very good. But however, people are probably not searching. I need my car towed immediately on, on Facebook. Right. So, but here you are. I love this. You've got affordable towing in the, in the badge. It's nice and clean and crisp. Like somebody redid the logo for you. Very nicely done. I'm, I'm your webpage. I didn't actually look that clean. This picture. I love it. World's best tow truck driver. It's very blurry. Uh, you'd almost want to put that in the circle because obviously it, it can't stand to be blown up this large. But uh, I put that in the circle and vice versa. Get a truck, a branded truck for the main picture. It's got a call to action button. Love it. Look at that. It's got even even the the, the writing, the drop up writing. It looks good there. Services, towing services, and they have uh, other service listings. Good, good. You've got um, you've got your about page. Hey, you have an address. See, I think we need that address on the web page, and then we need to get it into Google My Business, and then uh, and and from there you you're going to climb up in the results with some other work as well. Beautiful truck. Look at that. Look at that truck. Look at that old truck on it. Great, great. Are some of these posts? There's a video. Are any of these posts? Well, that's a live little short video. I like that. Give me something about it. You got a nice little tags here, but uh, something about it from February 4th. Something about I don't know. I don't know, something interesting about that photo. Um, wishing in holidays. That's good Facebook stuff. Um, I did jump over and look at your ad library, and this is why I noticed that you didn't have a pixel, because you don't have, you've never had any Facebook ads in the ad library. Your page was created in 2015, and it's got 18 likes. So if you want to, I still think it's a good idea, because Google searches across Facebook nowadays. And so you're going to pull a lot more NAP, a lot more name, address, and phone information if you, the more sites that you include um, that information on and keep up to date and keep active. So um, it's not that hard uh, to post some fresh pictures on Facebook once a week or so of interesting tow services that you've done. And then, and eventually you'll, you'll grow an audience and I can help you a lot with that. That's six minutes. Okay, let's wrap this up. What what can we do for the for a tow truck company? Well, we can help you get more clients by showing up stronger in Google search results. With some effort put on your web website, Google My Business profile, and related NAP listings, I can get you on map results for most local searches on your product set. I can integrate your your Facebook pixel if we wanted to create one. That would mean we'd have to create a Facebook ad, which I just don't see that for a tow truck company. But um, in getting the Facebook page up and running and connecting it to the web page is the purpose of the pixel. We can get attention paid, played to your page and then pushed over to your web page by doing that. There are specific ad campaigns that we can run and those would be for um, Google ads and uh, using specific AdWords in specific targeted 
zip codes or, or areas, not the entire greater Portland area. But we want to target some areas and drum up some leads via a, a, a very inexpensive Google ad campaign. So how much do we cost? Of course, that depends on what your business needs, which is why I do these videos. And when I talk to you, I we develop an action plan that's just for your business. But I can assure you that we are cost effective and we provide an excellent return on investment through our unique holistic approach to online marketing and brand management. So give us a call and we'll prepare a free, no obligation online action plan for your business. Good News Media Solutions is comprised of Karen Chucky up there in Anchorage, Alaska, and me, Eric Worthington, down here in Yuma, Arizona. And you are a small business in between. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information about how we can help your business with some of the issues mentioned in this video, and so much more, or if you have a business you want to see me review, then click, call, email Karen or I here at Good News Media Solutions so we can serve your business's online marketing needs. And from me here in my little play pool, see you next time.